whole life was in New York. But now I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere without my family. Hi, I'm Jackie Howard, and I just moved here. Jackie, I know coming here is hard for you, and I cannot begin to imagine what you're going through since... It's blue cheese stuffed buffalo chicken meatballs. Remember the kick. I don't know if you remember this. Do you remember? Directions. Oh, I'm the reader. Deb is the doer. Preheat the oven. Done. Grease a small sheet pan with cooking spray. Not done. I'll do that. Come Let's go find a spot for my new treasures. These are just random pieces that I picked up over the years. Found this set and then that pitcher for $5. So I've just kept a lot of these things throughout the year. And then I just share these hearts that I shared in the reel. So many of you grab these. They come in gold, silver, and I don't remember. Maybe red. I don't remember. But this is the size of the largest one. They're metal. I attach this to a screw that I have like up back behind there. Um, this would be really cute if you have like a front gate. It'd be cute outside on a front gate, on a wreath on your front door, lots of different things. I'm actually finishing my laundry, so sorry about the noise, but that is the second size. This is the medium. That's about how big it is. Um, cute hanging on a peg again you could put that on a wreath i even thought you could attach it behind a mirror and kind of have it hanging over like in an entryway or wherever and this one is the smallest that i have hanging on ramsey i know some people don't like ramsey but i do i didn't hurt him somebody else did so keep that in mind um but that's a really nice size as well it's probably maybe six inches but that is also very versatile. This is another item that I wanted to reshare. I've only shared it once. I love these. One of you guys sent me these links. Or I'm sorry, this link to these hearts. They are so cute. Every time I walk in here and see them, I just love them. They're like rattan, I think. So I'm going to put the link here. I don't remember if this is one or I think this is two sets. I'm not sure if you have noticed, but when I give links to certain things, I like to also share different ways to use them than what I am using. Um, that's kind of what my brain does. I use them one way, but then I think, oh, this could also be used this way or that way. And I like doing that, especially too, if you have something similar, it might spark some type of creative thought process that you could use what you already have. So let me share one more thing with this. If you are a crafty person and love to do things like that, these would be really cute, strung with ribbon and used for a garland for your mantle, a headboard for your bathroom mirror, or you could also string them down from a mirror, like in front of a mirror at different heights with ribbon. I think that would be really pretty. There are just so many different ways. I have them in this wooden bowl and I actually just bought this. It's new. So let me pull that link too. This cute little wooden tray is like $14 or something like that. It came just like this. It looks like a little bit worn. Um, this color is really pretty. It's pretty accurate as it looks on the screen. You could switch these out with the season, put Easter eggs, put pine cones, put Christmas bulbs all through the season. So something like this is so versatile for pretty much any time of the year. Also, I just took this out of the washer to put in the dryer and I remembered I was supposed to show close-ups of this for several people who saw this in my stories this past weekend and I totally forgot. Um, it's really cute. It's got all of these neutral hearts. The shirt comes in several different colors. I did size up, so I recommend sizing up. Why I was laughing is because I was thinking about, I wanted to tell you that it was really soft and I said this out loud before I started filming. It's really soft. I can't wear scratchy shirts or anything like that anymore and I, it dawned on me, we, I used to wear scratchy shirts, tight shoes, tight pants, tight socks, tight bras. I, I, can, I can barely stand to have clothes on anymore. <laughs> Hi, 
Tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, be there or be square. We're going live with Buy With and Lovery. We will be sharing all different kinds of Valentine's Day gift sets, including bath bombs, candles, full bath sets, fragrances. They are made with natural fragrances, essential oils, and they are 100% paraben free. Again, join us tonight. We are going live with Lovery and Buy With at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You will get not only one, but two coupons. So make sure to join. We always have so much fun. I just had to look this song up. It was released in 1988. I don't know if I've heard it since then. Give a little respect to me. Remember this? This made me happy today. And of course, Dub has never heard it. I was dancing around the house. I, I played it like three times. She's never heard it. She, I know she wasn't milking a cow in 1988. She was probably pregnant. I'm in an 80s mood today. The days where we all thought we were hot shit. Look what I just got out. I feel very hopeless. hopeless. <laughs> What's another word? Hopeless and um, not sour, but all of these baby hairs are like pull, pulled back. Sad. I wouldn't say sad. I'm not sad like crying sad. I feel very like a bad I attitude. You're talking to me. Well, I am talking to you. Oh. Talking to you with the camera, the thing right. <laughs> I started using an oil probably about a month ago, maybe longer than that, six weeks ago. And so the hair oil that I talked about that I love, absolutely love, the amazing hair savior oil. Um, I use that before I wash my hair, but I only wash my hair about once a month. So, oh my gosh, once, once or twice a week. <laughs> but I started using this oil that I put on every night. So I like put it a little bit on my fingers and kind of rub it on my scalp. I use a lot, a lot of hair growth things because I use a shampoo and a conditioner. I actually, it's a set. I use the Amazing Hair Savior Oil. I take Nutrafol. I use this other oil that I'm gonna be talking about. I am making sure to cover everything and I massage my hair with that stuff on my fingers and then before I wash it, I also put it on. Again, I'll be sharing that hopefully in the next couple of weeks, but that is why my baby hairs stay back because I have all of this that is like that. And if I don't, like, you know. So that is how I hide my mullet. I push all of this new growth back. Like that. There we go. Baby love. We are partnering with Yellowtail Wine. I got the goods. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> we are throwing together just a little snack tray because we're not really like hungry, hungry, but we're a little bit hungry. So we decided to just do something light and I grabbed Yellowtail Pure Bright Wine. Have you ever had this? It is so, so good. delicious. I have the Yellowtail Pure Bright in the Chardonnay. I have it in the Pino. And I also have it in the Sauvignon Blanc. I can't say that word. Anyway. <laughs> it's so good. It's delicious. It's a lighter alternative and there's no sacrifice to the taste. Like we said, it's really delicious. So make sure to check out the Yellowtail Pure Bright um, wines. You're gonna enjoy it. We just got done with our life. I came back here to change my clothes, take off my makeup and all of that. And I've been wanting to share this shirt with you 
today and I kept forgetting. So this is like, this is sweatshirt material, but it's almost like a dressier sweatshirt. If you can see the neck is like a, almost like a, I don't what do they call these? Mock turtleneck? I don't know. But I love the neckline. It's got this little slit here. It comes in lots of different colors. It almost has kind of like a little poofy sleeve at the bottom. It is long enough that I probably could wear it with leggings. Um, but I did size up. So this is this is a little oversized for the size up. So if you wanted a little more fitted, get your regular. Also, I've shared these jeans a couple of times, but I haven't for a long time. There are a bunch of different washes with this link. These are the ones that, I'm not kidding, you might as well be wearing leggings. They do not feel like jeans at all. These are the ones that are really distressed, but they look like they have paint splatters on them. And I like wearing these with like sweatshirts since they're, you know, rough looking.